Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 best upcoming investments for 2020. So the reason I decided to make this video was because I think a lot of my recent videos have been kind of focusing on very recent investments, and I kind of wanted to talk about some older investments as well. There are recent investments on this list, but there are a lot of older investments that I haven't been able to talk about in a video that I do want to talk about overall, so I think this is a good chance to do that. I also wanted to say before we begin, guys, that if you haven't seen Sing for Skins yet, go check that out. It's a very entertaining video. I put a lot of work in to it and making it you know funny and entertaining for everybody to watch and it is a good way for my community to sort of interact with me so with that being said go check the video out if you haven't already seen it it's really really good with that out of the way guys i wanted to go ahead and make this video because it's going to kind of go in the middle of the sing for skins episodes that way you guys do have something to look forward to and kind of have an investing guide to go off of uh, while you're watching those entertaining videos and you don't get off track also one quick thing before we get started this is a top five video and it's in the top five format if you guys like this kind of format then let me know in the comments below because i will make more videos in this format in the future but if you don't like this format and you want me to go back to the same one of just talking about random skins while i'm doing the video then you can go ahead and let me know there as well now guys there's a few rules to this video that i wanted to also stress because the rules of this video are going to influence how it's made so first of all all skins are below 500 usd I don't think that there are a lot of people in my community that have more than 500 USD to spend on investments or trade-ups or whatever else. So that, with that being said, I wanted to keep it under 500 USD and obviously you can buy more of a specific skin if you have more than 500 USD and you have enough to spend on that kind of investment. With that being said, this is also a so far list, which basically means so far throughout 2020, these are going to be good investments. That means if any sort of changes happen, don't hold me accountable for that. That's totally on Valve or Steam or whoever makes the changes. I'm also only picking one or two skins from each group, which means collections or cases that are released at the same time only have one item on the list. If multiple are good, then there is, you know, an opportunity for you to buy other skins from those collections, but this list is only going to reference one from each of those collections or cases. So without further ado, let's get straight into this list. So the number five spot, I have the M4A4 Asimov, which is a covert from the Winter Offensive Collection. So this is a very nice looking skin, obviously. Everybody really likes this M4A4. It's arguably one of the best M4A4s in the entire game, just probably behind the Howl, for example. And also it's one of the oldest M4A4s in the entire game. It's also a covert, which of course makes it very desirable just because it's rare and expensive. With that being said, guys, I believe this is going to be a great investment for a few reasons. First of all, the Winter Offensive case is very, very old and it's doing very, very good on the Steam market worth a decent amount of money and the m 44 asimov is the best item you can get out of it that's not a knife of course with that being said the m 44 asimov is also a very desirable skin it has the asimov skin spray which is really important for a few reasons first of all it's obviously a lot like the classic players are going to enjoy because the asimov is a very old skin in csgo and also a very popular one with that being said, because of CSGO's recent popularity and its huge player base increase, a lot of those people are coming back from quitting CSGO for a certain period of time, which means that they're going to be looking for some of those nostalgic old skins, which is of course going to be Asimov skins. Especially because this is an M4A4, which is one of those more desirable and more expensive M4A4s, that's also going to attract a lot of buyers. The Asimov skin is also a very iconic skin in CSGO, especially because of the Op Asimov, which means that the M4A4 Asimov is going to do well for that fact as well. Furthermore, the M4A4 Asimov has been on a steady increase throughout 2019, and I believe it's going to either steady increase through 2020 or have a very significant spike. If you have a couple extra dollars to throw at a Battle Scarred version of this, you can pick one up for about $33 to $35, and uh, at most probably around $40 if you're buying it off the Steam market. And with that being said, very good option, and you can go ahead and invest in this pretty safely. Next up, number four is going to be from the Hydra Collection. We have the M4A4 Hellfire and the Op Oni Taiji. These are both very, very good skins to invest in for a lot of reasons. The first one is the Hydra Collection is still going to be a very expensive case, which means that the whole case unboxing portion of these items being in existence is not really going to be there. These items are generally more expensive and generally have lower quantity and therefore lower demand. But with that being said, it doesn't really affect the value too much because the case is so expensive that people aren't really going to be unboxing them in the first place. With that being said, trade-ups still do exist and the trade-ups are also getting a lot more non-profitable, especially the pink trade-up, which means that the Hellfire is a very good option because this is obviously the best pink in the entire case. Furthermore, there's also the Op Oni Taiji, which has the, you know, weeb attraction effect, I'm not even going to lie, weebs are going to be very attracted to this op because it's Japanese and weebs love Japanese stuff, I guess. 
And with that being said, it also has a very good design in general. It looks really cool with the Oni paint on it, and the general design of the skin is very unique. So I can see the Aponi Taiji doing very, very well this upcoming 2020, as well as the M4A4 Hellfire. The M4A4 Hellfire is only going to run you about $15 in field test condition, and the Aponi Taiji is only going to run you about $70 in field test condition. Of course, not very expensive to pay for such a rare and cool looking op. And with that being said, those are my picks for number four. So the number three spot is a skin that usually does fairly well over the summer sale because of the way that it's demanded. But I think that this year it's actually going to shift the style of investing that it's actually going to fall under. And that's the USPS Orion. So the USPS Orion was from the Huntsman collection and it was a pink. However, it got removed from the case along with the Howl back when that happened. And we all know, of course, the story of the Howl it became contraband, it became very expensive. But the USP Orion never became contraband, it's just a regular pink skin, and I honestly think that it looks very, very amazing. This is a very good looking USP, it has a very good color scheme, and it's also getting quite rare. So the USP Orion has always been a skin in terms of the investing field that people have kind of looked at and known about and thought about, but most people have never really gone too hard into it because it's usually maintained a pretty constant price. However, recently we've seen an interesting spike in the price of the USP Orion, and generally the USP Orion has been achieving some prices that we never really thought were possible before. With all of that being taken into account, I think the USP Orion is going to be a very interesting skin to watch in 2020, and even if it doesn't have its big spike in 2020, I could see it happening within the next two years. Because of the lore around the skin, especially in the investing world, I think that it definitely does deserve the number three spot. And you can pick one up for pretty cheap, a minimal wear one is only going to run you around 15 bucks currently. So guys, the number two spot is actually going to go to an exception on this list, and I'll explain why it's an exception in a second, but it's actually going to be the Og Midnight Lily. So this is one of the new skins, of course, in CSGO, and it is an Og skin. And you also will notice one more very interesting thing about it that also allows it to be an exception of this list, of the one rule where I can only pick one skin from each collection or case, and that's the fact that it is a hollow skin. So this is actually one of the only hollow skins in the entire game. It is going to be very rare and very sought after for that specific reason. And it's also why it had such a really significant skyrocket rise recently, where it went all the way up to $60 in factory new condition. And then it obviously went back down because of drops, but that's just kind of how it works. With that being said, the Augmented Lily is just such a unique skin in the game and has such a unique effect and also has a pretty good overall design that I can definitely see a lot of hype being built up around the skin that can carry it to very high prices that we can't even predict at the current moment. However, I am thinking that my current goal for the investment on the Augmented Lily is going to be around $100 and I'm honestly thinking that it can reach that kind of value in the future. However, again, I'm not a profit. I can't actually predict the values of items. That's just my hoped investment, and that's also just kind of based on the general price of Augs like this, like the Akihabara Except, for example, being such a unique skin itself. And obviously, it's a hollow skin, so we can't really predict it based off of other hollow skins because those don't exist. So with that being said, definitely a very interesting thing to look for, and at least something to watch. And I really think it's going to be a strong investment in 2020, one of the best ones, in fact. If you want to pick up one of these things, you can get one currently in field tested condition for around $18, and if you want to go ahead and buy one in factory new, it's only going to run you about $35, which I would definitely go for because it looks very, very good in factory new. Now guys, before we get to the number one spot, I do want to give some honorable mention shoutouts to the Op Asimov and the AK-47 Redline. I think these are both skins that are just going to have a very steady rise throughout the 2020 and the upcoming years. The Phoenix case is becoming less and less obtainable, it's becoming more and more expensive, and it's less desirable of a case to open because of how it's expensive it's becoming in relation to the skins that it actually has inside of it. Furthermore, the Red Line is a very, very popular AK, especially for those nostalgic players that I talked about in the earlier part of this video. Those people are definitely going to be looking towards something like the AK Red Line, and I can just really see a very steady and slow but very good rise on these skins throughout 2020, 2021, and 2022. So therefore, if you're looking to quit CSGO at any point or you're thinking about quitting CSGO at some point, what I would do is if you have extra money, go ahead and pick up a couple of these or one of each for example and just leave CSGO. Come back a little bit later and you'll definitely are going to see some sort of return on these skins for sure. The AK Redline still sits comfortably at about $15 to $17 or so and it was about $12 earlier in 2019. So again, you can see a very steady rise on that skin itself. Furthermore, on the Op Asimov, that's worth about $65 in field testing condition, all the way up to around $80 in some cases. So you can get those for not too terribly expensive and just hold on to them for a long time. To quickly add one note to this, they are a very safe investment and they're not necessarily something that's going to have a crazy meteoric rise. So that's something that you should keep in mind. Finally, onto the number one spot on this list, considering all collections and all cases, I went through and looked at all of them and did a lot of research for this video. Probably doesn't seem like that because of how, you know, simply it's laid out. But yeah, there was a lot of research that went into backing this video. 
With that being said, guys, I've come to the conclusion that the number one investment for 2020, and this is really just in general the best possible investment for 2020, is going to be the Desert Eagle Emerald Jorman Gunter. There's no other green deagles in the game. There's no other deagles that even look similar to this item. The Jorman Gunder skin on the deagle itself, because there also exists the Og Flame Jorman Gunder and the P90 Astral Jorman Gunder. And on the deagle itself, it actually has the best wrapping and the best looking skin on it itself. And it also is already holding meteoric prices that we probably would have never guessed at the beginning of this operation. And I think it's just going to keep going up from there. Again, it's also a deagle, which is one of the most popular skins to have in CSGO and also one of the most popular play skins. And for that reason, I think this is going to be the easiest, best investment going forward. And there's obviously a lot more reasons as well. The supply of it's low, the Norse collection has already begun to stop dropping, and uh, in general, the operation ending can really drive up the hype for stuff like this. So just so many good reasons, so many good perfect factors for a great recipe of an investment. I really think the Desert Eagle Emerald Roman Gunter is going to be an amazing skin to have. And I'm still trying to obtain one. I actually did some trade-ups recently to try and grab one, and I got the Og Flame Drummond Gunter, but yeah, I didn't, didn't get lucky enough to get the Emerald Drummond Gunter Deagle. So you know that I am backing it with my own money as well because I am actually investing in this. So with that being said, guys, that is the list. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you wanted to pick up the Desert Eagle Emerald Drummond Gunter, a factory new one is going to run you around $70 at the time of making this video, and a field one is going to run you around $35 to $40 roughly. And with that being said, once again, thank you for so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video to let me know you want more content like this. Leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of this new format. And also, be sure to add a subscription to my channel and add me to your subscription list because I would be very comfortable on that list. Make sure you give me a pillow as well because uh, sometimes I can get a little uncomfortable during the night. Yeah, it's a little weird that you're still here watching this video, but yeah, thanks for watching this video and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, there's going to be more content in the future like this, so that's why you should subscribe. Make sure you have notifications on so you can always tell when the newest information about investing is coming out so you can get the jump on everybody else. With that being said, I'll see you all next time. Peace.